The year 2014 will be decisive for political and economic futures of the 28-member European Union. European Parliament elections in May are expected to usher major leadership changes in Europe. And moreover, the Parliament is gaining more power through treaty changes and hence is expected to play a decisive role to chart the future direction of the European Union. The tenure of the President of the European Commission, the President of the European Council, the EU High Representative for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy and the President of the European Parliament will end after the 2014 elections and are most likely to be replaced by new faces. Now, although several names are floating as possible successors, till now only one politician, Martin Schulz, the current president of the European Parliament, has officially announced that he is a candidate for the post of President of the European Commission. Now, here's a funny thought for you. 2014 is the centenary of 100 years since the First World War. Different times they may be, but the similarities are scary. The financial conditions? political tensions. They say that those who do not know history are condemned to repeat it. However, perhaps the last 100 years demonstrate that the pen is indeed mightier than the sword. After two wars with the objective of German domination of Europe, how interesting that a German socialist, Martin Schulz, should take the seat in office as the President of the European Commission. And don't misunderstand me, I'm making no comparison with regard to the political intention merely highlighting the irony of it.